Here at Scott Legal, we know the ins and outs of immigration. We are here to help you navigate the oftentimes complex road in achieving your immigration goals. We have new immigration videos every week. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and bell. You can also sign up for one of our webinars or get a free immigration guide by clicking the link below. I am a truck driver. What are my options for getting legal authorization to work in the United States? It is a common misconception that as long as you have a job offer from a United States employer, you can obtain a work visa to enter the United States to pursue that job. In reality, the United States immigration system makes many distinctions that turn on the nature of the job, including whether the work performed can be categorized as professional work, skilled work, or unskilled work. Depending on what category your job falls into, the pathways open to you will differ. Here are several strategies you can consider if you seek to enter the United States to perform unskilled labor that requires less than two years of training or experience. For example, construction laborers, retail salesperson, truck drivers, bartenders, etc. Immigrant Pathway EB3 Permanent Residency If your intention is to work and live permanently in the United States, as a truck driver, you can look for an employer who is willing to act as the sponsor of an employment-based petition for permanent residency. This is significantly more time, consuming than the non-immigrant visa option, and can take multiple years. But if the employer regularly hires drivers every year, it may be possible to negotiate such a long-term arrangement. The EB-3 is a versatile category that can be used by professionals, skilled workers, and unskilled workers. By definition, unskilled worker is a position that requires less than two years of training and or education to do the job. Truck drivers, restaurant servers, and bartenders would likely fall into this category. The difference between the EB-3 and the H-2 B non-immigrant visa pathway is that the position offered must be permanent and full-time. What are the requirements for EB-3 permanent residency application for an unskilled worker? The applicant must demonstrate their ability to perform the job. The job offered must be a permanent, full-time position. The employer must obtain certification that qualified workers for that job are not available in the United States. How long will the EB-3 sponsorship process take? To give a general overview, the EB-3 application process involves three steps. 1. The PERM labor certification. 2. The I-140 immigrant petition. 3. Adjustment of status or consular processing. At the PERM labor certification stage, your employer will define the duties and minimum requirements for your position, file a prevailing wage request, to determine how much you should be paid for the job, based on your job location, and go through a recruitment process to allow United States workers to apply for that job. If there are no suitable United States workers, the employer will file the PERM application with the Department of Labor. Upon receiving the petition, the Department of Labor reviews and it usually takes six months to render a decision. However, it is also possible that the Department of Labor would request additional information or an audit from the employer, in which case, the process can take many more months to complete. At the I-140 petition stage, the employer submits the permanent residency petition with the approved PERM to USCIS for processing. This can vary greatly depending on which USCIS service center your file is assigned to. Estimated processing times by center and category are published online by USCIS periodically, and they fluctuate greatly. For example, at the time of writing, the Texas Service Center reported anywhere between 13 months to 5 years just to render a decision. Once your I-140 petition is approved, one more hurdle remains. This is the adjustment of status or consular processing to finally obtain the permanent resident status or immigrant visa. Before filing the adjustment of status or consular visa application, however, you should check the most recent USCIS visa bulletin. Because each country has a specific quota of green cards, and the number of applications for each country differ widely, for some country nationals there is a significant backlog. This can push back the timeline for another several years. To conclude, the EB-3 permanent residency option is available for unskilled workers, as long as they meet the requirements, and have a United States company willing to go through the lengthy process with them. However, the timeline can be much longer compared to non-immigrant visa options, and can vary widely based on your nationality, so be sure to contact an attorney to get a good picture of your situation. To learn more, take a look at our resources in the description box below. You can also sign up for a free visa guide, any of our upcoming webinars, and Facebook groups. You can also schedule a consultation for a date and time that is best for you. We are here to help. You can contact us by calling 212-223-2964 or by sending us an email. We look forward to hearing from you.